The first step is to create the surround boundary. To do this we use the option Survey Extras Bearing Distance Entry. The model will be called Surround. The colour will just pick a colour, say purple. The point numbers will not be typed in so we set that to none and our start point will have a specific coordinate. So click on the icon and type in 1000 space 5000 and then press enter. We're not going to use Z value so untick that checkbox and we're going to type in the bearing and distances around the edge of the subdivision. When you've typed in the bearing and distances, click Process and then turn on the model surround. Just zoom into the end, this should, there's probably a small misclose, so if you use the option Information Bearing Distance and pick and accept each of the points, you'll see there's a one millimeter gap at the end. Okay, so we're just going to finish on the panel now. We're going to close that string. And we're going to make a copy of that surround to a model called boundary, which will be edited. We use the option strings, strings edit, duplicate. And we're going to type in BDY for both the name and the model. And select color red. Pick start, click and accept on the boundary. Click start, pick and accept on the surround. And you should be able to go to your plus button and turn on boundary. You can now turn off the surround and this will be used right at the end of the tutorial.